What's the biggest thing that you think has been accomplished you think of it as a movement for education reform? Like, what's our biggest win over that 50 or 20 years? And then what's our biggest miss? What's the biggest thing that we missed um, getting right in this, uh, in this effort? When did you, you start us on that one? Um, the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Um,
This is about, it's about our country coming together. This is what you all are proving and saying, you know what, actually, let's embrace a different idea. We have not embraced the idea in our country that education should be transformational. I don't think we should blame anyone who's stuck in this system for the fact that as a country we've never decided that we want our education system to be transformational. We need to come together as a system, we need the unions, we need the administrators, we need our policymakers and everyone else to say actually let's come together on a different idea about education. And then we need to realize that if we're going to produce transformational education, it's going to take the same kind of resources, talent, leadership, systems, commitment, innovation as attaining incredible results in any other field takes. So I'll stop, I'll stop there. Howard, would you uh, take a crack at that one? Yeah, you know, um, every time I see that film, uh, it is the second or third time I've seen it. It hurts my heart. And it destroys a part of my soul to think that people have to depend upon a ping pong ball to get us a, a good school for their children. And so when I think about what it is it that we've um, accomplished over these uh, 20 years, frankly, it's hard for me to come up with something that I feel great about. Because I feel great about all the things that all of you in this room are doing. But you know, like there's 26,000 kids, and that's a lot of kids, but just think how many kids are not in a care school, or not in a grade school. But I think what we've accomplished is we've made the point, and I think Wendy said it, that it's a lie to say that our children cannot learn. It's a lie. But you know what? There's a lot of people out here. There are a lot of people out here who are still buying a lot. And one of the problems is that when we have conferences like this, we all talk to each other. And we operate under the illusion that everybody is talking like this. But the reality of it is, it is still, for so many of our kids, they're trapped in places where teachers are still telling them, I got mine, you got to get yours, and my check is gonna come whether you learn or not. So to me, the accomplishment is that we've, as my friend, I'm gonna take his line, we've eliminated the yes, buts for a certain group of us, but for the larger number of us, the yes, buts is still the order of the day. And so when you ask me um, what is the thing, so, so, so the great accomplishment is that, that we're proving that our kids can learn. But, the, but I differ with Wendy a little bit because I don't believe that this system can be changed from within. I don't believe it. I think, I think the only way we're going to do this is we've got to create something radically different. And that the issue isn't that we don't know what to do. The issue is, as Ron Edmonds said, we don't have the political will to do what must be done. And, and to be blunt, yeah, the unions are not the problem, but they are a big part of the problem. Because what they're doing is they are protecting the interests of adults over the needs and interests of our kids. Keeping our kids from getting out. 
and it's the same fundamental view. And until we confront these people and quit talking to them like they really want to do so much for our kids, we're not getting anywhere. Because that's